The last action I want to show you, and it's definitely not the least, is how to adjust our grid size to half or by two or double. As you probably already know, our grid shows up over here if it's set to bars and beats. Right now it's set to whole notes, bar one, two, and so on. And if we have the grid and snapping turned on, it's going to snap to the nearest whole note or our grid, which is set to whole notes. But we can change that size by right clicking either button, which opens up the snap grid settings. And right over here, we could change it to anything we want. It's whole notes now, but we could change it to half notes. And now it looks like this, and it snaps like this to the nearest half note. And again, we could change it to quarter notes. Now it looks like this, and it snaps to the nearest quarter note. But that's not the quickest way to adjust this. There's also actions to choose each specific value. So if we go up here to the actions menu, show action list, we can type into the filter grid, and there's actions right in here to choose any specific value we need for our grid. And of course, we could set up different actions for each with keyboard shortcuts or create a toolbar specifically to change each value. But my favorite way to do this, and it's the quickest, is to use these actions right here. Grid adjust by half and grid adjust by two. Basically cutting it in half and doubling it. So we could scroll through each one using two keyboard shortcuts. So for this one, I'll get a keyboard shortcut to it. I'm using control page down, but of course you can use any keyboard shortcut you prefer. And then for this one, to adjust it by two, I'll use control page up. So now, just using these two values, we can scroll through most of the grid sizes we need. Right now it's set to whole notes with the keyboard shortcut. Now it's set to half notes. So I could snap to the nearest half note that easily. When I put it back, hit the keyboard shortcut, and it goes back to whole notes and go as small as we want. Half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes, 16th notes, and so on. We'll go the other direction to get back to whole notes. I just find this quicker to choose our grid size, which is basically our snapping size as well. I want to switch it to quarter notes, hit that twice, and I could snap it to the nearest quarter note. So just using two actions and two keyboard shortcuts, we could choose most of the grid sizes we want. So those are the best actions that you probably didn't know about in Reaper. Hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo boys, let's go.